Hi everybody, it's Cindy, the Scrapologist on Etsy, and I'm here to show you today one of the blank albums that is available in my shop. And let me just make sure I'm streaming properly for a second here. There's such a delay that I never know when to start talking. <laughs> But um, I think I started talking at the right at the right time. Anyway, I have a, I have a blank album in my shop, and I wanted to show you, kind of give you an idea of what you can do with this album. I think that this is based in part off of a tutorial that I saw years ago from the Super Happy Scrapper. I'm not I'm totally not sure about that because if I see a video tutorial online that's free. I typically don't do it exactly like that. I get inspiration and then I sort of make it my own, but I want to give her credit because um, I think that's where I got this this idea. Um, so I want to try to give her credit and you can go check, check her out, Super Happy Scrapper. Um, anyway, I'm not positive about that, but she's, she's great anyway. So um, this album is the reason why I, I have a whole bunch of blank albums in my shop. And the reason that I do that is because so many people would really enjoy making a homemade album for a gift or for a family mem memory, but they don't have the time. You don't all have the time to, to build these mini albums. And so I have probably 10 different offerings, anywhere from 30 up to a couple of hundred dollars, depending on what you're looking for. This, this particular one is $30. And then you add your own papers and it becomes your album, your family heirloom, your special gift to someone. But you don't have to take the time to actually make the album itself. So I have a whole bunch of different offerings in my shop. This is just one of them. They're primarily available in craft color and black but I can make them in any color you want doesn't really matter um, the album measures this particular one measures um, 11 by 9 and a quarter and this is the idea that I got from super happy scrapper I'm pretty sure uh, um, that it was her these these pull out and I really liked that idea um, the your covers see how it, it's got a flap there <clears throat> excuse me and the covers actually pull out and you can decorate the covers I really liked that I thought that was very clever so you have these that you can decorate um, there are pockets throughout pocket 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 this one has um, then it has pockets in the center. So you decorate the whole thing. It also has a bifold that I've inserted in the middle and there are four cards that come out. For you card makers out there, this is a perfect folio. And so there's four cards that go with the inside, more pockets on the inside here. So it's super fun and it comes just like this in any color you want. Well, I have craft and black on hand. If you want another color, you have to convo me, and I'm sure I can arrange it. But let me see you what, show you what I've done with this particular folio. This is a smaller version that I did, and I just, um, I'm not going to go through the whole thing on this one. I want to show you the others, but I took some basic gray paper that I had in my stash, and you just put down some paper and some photo mats and decorate your cards and it just becomes just a really nice keepsake. So this is one, it's called Wisteria. This one is available in my shop and it's a smaller one. This one is 8 by 11. But here's what else you can do. That, that's such a simple album, but you can make it look 
so elegant, especially if you're giving it for a gift. Look at this one. So this is one that I, I used, Graphic 45's um, Vintage Hollywood Paper. I put a, a band around it. It's not really needed to hold it together, but I did put a band. I wanted some bling on there to make it look really Hollywood. I put an, a, an angle pocket on the front and have some tags in there. And a little bit of bling here. And then you open it up. So these pull out. And here's what I did with the first one. This is the this is a on this one I did a large pocket. On the other one on the ones that I sell they are there are two pockets here, but you certainly can cover it with one strip of paper and make it look like one one large pocket. And then you've got a beautiful space here for a very large photo. You could fit could you fit an 8 by 10 on here? Mm, almost seven and a half by ten. So if you have an eight by ten that you could crop down, it could fit on here beautifully. So, and there's the back. Two more photo mats. Looks like we've got some glare here. And then this is the left side cover that pulls out. And this is what that looks like on the front and on the back. And then inside you have a pocket. Now um, this particular one I did an accordion pocket so you can really stuff this with whatever you want. There's another pocket here, photo mats, another accordion pocket here, photo mat, open it up, and here in the center there are four pockets for you to put photo mats in. Here's a tag. Tags fit very nicely in these skinny pockets. Another photo mat and another skinny pocket with a tag. And photo mats and photo mats. And then over here another pocket and I just did some little bifold um, photo mats. They're not not really cards per se, but they're just nice photo mats with a flap. And then it folds up so nicely. Oh, I didn't show you the bifold. And then the bifold in the middle. So there are four of these cards that that pull out and you can decorate them however you want. You can make them in you can make them like greeting cards or you can make them with with a um, photo mat and a journaling spot on top. Um, I haven't I didn't decorate the back of these. And so there are four of those. I'm not going to pull them out and bore you and show you all of them, but one, two, three, four. And then on the inside, I have two pockets, a place for photos here, and tags. Tags and tags. And that fits nicely in the center, folds up like this. And you put these back on, left and right, and it all look goes together so nicely. And then I'll put the band back on. So that's one idea of of um, how you can go from. Well, I used a black one on this, but it just started out like this. And look, look what a gorgeous album you can make out of it. I want to show you one more. This is my favorite and I have other I have videos that show you complete flip throughs on both of these albums but the point of this is just to kind of show you what you can do with the blank album. So this again I just used a, a piece of ribbon as a belly band. Oh no, no I forgot what I did on this already. This one has um, before I f affixed the paper, boy that glare, 
Hang on, sorry, let me fix this. There we go. Before I fixed the paper on the back, I put a ribbon across the back and brought it around the front, and that unties. Now this album, um, like I said, I do have another video that shows show this shows this in more detail, but this is made out of Prima watercolor paper. So you actually get to color this one for whoever you're going to give it to. And these images are just to die for. I just love them. I don't know if Prima still carries watercolor paper, but you can it it takes wet medium without without running. So you can watercolor on it. This actually comes with a set of watercolor pencils that I that um that I give to you with this kit. Here's the bifold that I'll show you in a minute. And so this pulls out. Got photo mats there. More photo mats, more things for you to color and a photo mat. And then this right cover pulls out. And again, space for almost an eight by 10. Photo mats and you've got a pocket here to put some goodies in. And this is the back and this is coloring book paper so that you can paint it, color it, magic marker it, whatever you want to do. And then here's another pocket, more coloring book paper with a photo mat. And here's a large photo mat of coloring book paper that I put inside. So you can put you can put some pretty big things in this pocket here. This particular coloring um, item is ten and a quarter by seven and a half. So these pockets are big. And how fun would it be to color that? I love it. And then you've got room for really big photos here. So that goes in there. This is all coloring book paper. Open it up and photo mats in a pocket, photo mats in a larger pocket, and then you've got the four pockets here that accommodate tags or photo mats. This particular item is another of the Prima journal cards that are watercolor friendly. And you can put the a photo on the back. Love this paper. Here's another one. Look at this image. So beautiful. So beautiful. And then the the bifold is here. Again, we have some beautiful cards. Four of them that I decorated, plus you decorate underneath and you can put a photo here too if you want. This is a it, this is the watercolor paper, so you get to paint and color that. Open it up. More watercolor paper, more space for a photo. We've got more watercolor paper here um, for photo mats. So two pockets and then two more cards and this all folds up together. So I just wanted to show you a couple of the blank albums that I have available in the shop. They're super, super fun. And if you buy one, those are some ideas. You can kind of copy what I did or, or make it your own. But I do hope that you go over and check them out. And if you don't have time to make your, make your own album, you can still decorate and make a lovely gift for somebody if you visit, visit my shop. And I also do custom orders. So ask me if you have a certain theme that you're looking for or you want a different size. Just send me a convo and I would be tickled pink to work with you. I love to get custom orders. So thank you so much for watching. And let me know if you have any questions. And make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my tutorials that I'm doing. Thanks so much. Have a great day.